around Camp Nou. Camp Nou is considered a football temple and the greatest exponent for Barca fans and for sport at the highest level. The club is one of the best ambassadors of the city to the world. It is also the place after which this route has been named. San Ramon Nonat's church is located very close to it. Built in 1924, it was burnt down during the Civil War. Architect Josep Maria Sagnier rebuilt it in 1940. He was the designer of many of the buildings in La Champla, as well as some landmark buildings, such as Basilica del Sagrat Cor del Tibidabo, visible from around the city. Sagnier made of San Ramon Nonat the best possible example of Romanesque revival architecture in Barcelona. Barca facilities include their museum, one of the most visited in Catalonia, and La Masia, a building from the 17th century where many of the best Barca footballers have been trained until recently. This route also grants the access to the cemetery of Las Cortes. Several personalities of the social and cultural world of Barcelona, as well as some of FC Barcelona historical stars such as Tessa and Kubala, lay there. Nearby we find Finca Guell East Gate, right by the School of Pharmacy, as well as the well-known Torre Rodona, or Can Vinyals de la Torre, one of the few examples of medieval rural architecture preserved in Las Cortes. Its latest reforms aim to recover some medieval elements and to restore it to its original appearance were undertaken in 1990. We also recommend visiting the lands of the former Institut Frenopatic, a psychiatric center founded in 1863 by Dr. Tomas Dolsa. The park laying in the former La Maternitat allows us to discover its modernist pavilions. The blue pavilion and the pink pavilion are worth highlighting, although the gardens of La Maternitat are its most appealing site. Nature and architecture merge uniquely at La Maternitat.